Visualizing the steps to create a model is crucial when using any CAD system. Engineers and designers have to mentally deconstruct a three-dimensional model into its foundational 2D sketches and basic 3D features. For example, imagine a complex model like this one. To model this part in the CAD system, you must break it down to its simple geometric shapes driven from 2D profiles. These simple geometric shapes are defined by using features applied to sketches. This idea of using sketches and features to construct parts in the CAD system is known as feature-based design. Notice, this part has several 2D profiles that can be identified. These 2D profiles are created with sketches. Then, 3D features are applied to the sketch profiles to create the part geometry. Different 3D features are created dependent on the needed shape and size. For example, this geometry was created by extruding a sketch at a specified thickness, whereas this geometry was created by turning the sketch profile. Several features are added together to create complex part geometry. Recognizing the needed 2D profiles and understanding what 3D features should be applied is the art of 3D feature-based modeling. This skill set can be developed by improving your spatial recognition and visualization skills. An Onshape Part Studio begins the feature list with default geometry, three reference planes, top, front, and right, and their intersection, the origin. The default geometry provides a starting point to begin the model, establishes an orientation, and defines a 0, 0, 0 in the 3D space. Most part models begin with the 2D sketch on one of these default reference planes. Defining the orientation of the part in the part studio is important as it impacts the drawing views. For example, if starting with the front profile of a part, it should be sketched on the front plane. This establishes the front of the part to be facing the front of the graphics area, as indicated by the view cube. Be careful when defining the orientation of the part in the part studio, because this ensures the drawing views are correct when creating detailed drawings later in the engineering process. Typically, to begin a part, a sketch is created on one of the default reference planes. Then one of the basic features is applied to the sketch. Onshape's four basic features include Extrude, Revolve, Sweep, and Loft. Each of these creates different geometric shapes and requires certain parameters to define the feature. These features are explained further in a future video. To continue modifying the part, more sketches and more features are added until the desired geometry is created. Parametric CAD displays a list of how the model was created, which sketches and features were modeled, and their order, which feature was created first, second, third, etc. This allows you to edit the definition of the model at any time to make changes, without having to remodel the design completely. Relationships are established between features, so as you edit a feature with dependencies, the updates propagate to all child or dependent features. This is how parts are created in 3D parametric feature-based CAD systems, using sketches and features to build a geometry. As you become more familiar with part modeling, you learn how to incorporate more advanced features in designs. In this course, the four basic features are introduced, but more features and advanced options are explained in other Onshape courses.